Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm still in a bit of a super cooling mood, and we're going to super cool, or we did super cool the Monoprice Select Mini, and I wanted to share this with you. So I got both of these designs off Thingiverse, and uh, I'm surprised my buddy Norbert didn't share this one with me. So this bottom piece that's done here in white, I've printed this in TPU because it is very close to the hot end, uh, etc., is designed to a retrofit for a 40 millimeter fan uh, to replace a smaller, I think, 30 millimeter fan that was on there. So I've removed this, I've printed this off, but hey, bigger is always better. So I went big on this one. So I went and I found another adapter, uh, basically a 40 to 50 millimeter adapter. So now I've got a 50 millimeter fan up here, which I feel very comfortable with because this is the same basic design that drives the uh, tarantula and I've had really good luck with that in both cooling and uh, you know both cooling the uh, uh, cold end as well as um, layer uh, cooling so I went ahead and I printed this out in TPU and then I printed this uh, adapter out in ABS. You could probably do PLA, it doesn't matter. I just had an ABS printer uh, handy at the time. So I printed that out, and then if I move my little sign over here, and I set this up here, what I did then is I just mounted my 50 millimeter fan right here. So pretty simple and straightforward. I did unwrap some of this, and I had a fairly long piece of cable. And so I cut it. You can see this is what's sort of left. And you can see this is how much I have left because I wanted to save this fan assembly and everything because it's a good fan and everything. So I didn't want to cut it too short and I had a lot of wire. And then what I did is I just soldered it back together up here, used some heat shrink tube and, you know, nobody's even the wiser. So it looks just like stock except now, now that slides off. But now I got this mega super cooler on here. So I'm really looking forward to using this. I think this, again, will do pretty good. I'll have links to... Uh, both of these parts down below in the description uh, on Thingiverse and then I will also have a link to the 50 millimeter fans that I've uh, got so you can get some 50 millimeter fans yourself. I think 50 is a good size. Now one of the things to note is I've offset this and I've offset it this way uh, because I didn't want it to come out too far and I didn't want it to hit so you can see it can go all the way to the end here so this is a very important point is again I've offset it this way so in short it can go I'll run all the way to this end and I got plenty of room so just a little tip if you're going to do that um, you know keep in mind you have to offset it so this this housing and again no design work. I just went to Thingiverse, got these two. Now, I could have meshed them together, um, but I think I would have had, you know, more of a mess because printing this TPU piece will require supports, and especially in TPU, it's kind of a mess to clean up. I also like the extra rigidity that this top piece of ABS provides to the TPU. Again, I wanted the heat resiliency and the strength of TPU, and this provided the extra rigidity because what I actually did is took some five-minute epoxy and bonded the two together. Now, I don't know if you can see here, if I tilt it up this way, I still did put some number four self-tapping screws in the bottom here, two of them. In the back, uh, on the original design, there's no way to really get screws in there. So I still got, I got sort of belt and suspenders. So it's epoxied and screwed, so we're, we're good to go. And again, I just put two... Uh, uh, M3s, I don't know, I think they're about 10 millimeters on the top uh, through there, and you can kind of see the, the silver heads poking through, because you don't need a lot. And uh, no need to add a whole bunch of weight to the Bowden extruder, because we're already increasing the weight with the uh, assembly as well as the fan, fan etc. So anyways, I'm really looking forward to this. Figured I'd share it with you guys. I know the Monoprice Mini is a super popular printer out there. I love this little guy. Um... I've had it for a long time. I do all my, my quick prototypes on it. This one actually sits in my office on a shelf. And, and so as I'm prototyping, um, I just throw it out there, prototype it, boom, done, quick. Very handy printer. I understand there's a second version out. It's, uh, I think it's pretty much the same, maybe an updated board or something like that. Um, it, but it pretty much looks the same. And I've been happy with this one, so I haven't gotten one. i got enough other printers, I guess. But uh, I highly recommend the Monoprice Mini Select. So if you get the one or the two, pick one up. So anyways, uh, again, Swag Shop will be up there. Subscribe button over there. And hey, 
Give this a big thumbs up. I know I am. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.